この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。Alrighty, welcome everyone. I'm t i a b u and I am here for Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt. We're going to watch the last couple episodes, episodes 12 and 13, and finish up this show.、Um, and I guess we'll talk at the end about final thoughts about it and everything like that.、Um, but that'll have to wait. Last time on Panty and Stocking, we watched a couple episodes that were very experimental in more than a couple of ways. It's a sex joke, because Garter Belt.、Um, but. Were really fascinating. We got a whole bunch of crazy Chuck sequences. One episode that was basically a bunch of shorts strung together,、um, one of which Sans again got to really flex their 3D CG muscles, one of which we did a crazy, weird horror that was apparently riffing off of a racer head,、uh, where Chuck and Fastener discover that they have little devils inside of them that seem to pilot them but are in love.、Uh, it was insanity, utter insanity, and also wonderful. And then, of course, Course, ending off with a panty and stocking concert that had a whole bunch of references to all kinds of music creators in it.、Um, it, was, it was a blast. And speaking of a blast, Garter, we found out, got blasted into the past because he ignored the calls of a deity to serve him and、uh, ended up popped into the, the prehistoric age, fucking around with dinosaurs and pharaohs and all sorts of weird, wild stuff because he scar faced a little too hard and got shot the hell up. As a dope crime lord in, in some big city. Who knew?、Um, <laughs> just, just insanity. And also a really fucking cool song、um, that's maybe one of my favorite like, tracks from the entirety of Panty and Stocking. And I think that's honestly saying something because the, the Flying Away track gets stuck in my head. The OP gets stuck in my head. Panty, stocking, panty, panty. It, it gets stuck in my head.、Um, but the whole Garter Belt Through the Ages track was. Just fucking dope. It was just really cool.、Um, and the la these last two episodes have been overall really freaking cool. So now we move into the finale. I assume that what we're going to do here has to do with some kind of battle between us and the Devil Sisters, the Demon Sisters, the Daemon Sisters,、uh, whatever you want to call them. They are bad and、uh, we got to fight them or something. They, they might actually be better than Panty and Stocking in most ways. It's just the fact that they're devils and hate Panty and Stocking that makes them bad from our perspective. So, yeah. I don't know if morality really factors into this world or if it really matters, but that's probably what we're going to do. And we're probably going to have to fight Mr. Shady Guy, who is their boss as well.、Um, yeah. Yeah, that's my only expectation for the finale of Panty and Stocking is going out somehow with some kind of bang, maybe in more ways than one, probably in more ways than one, given that Panty is involved.、Um, go out with some sort of bang and probably some kind of conflict with the Demon Sisters. I don't know if Panty and Stocking will ascend back to heaven. I don't even know if that's the goal that they should be going for or that they want to be going for, but、um, maybe that'll happen. Maybe not. Who knows? It's, it's PSG. It could be whatever the fuck it Once. It could be another two full episodes of just ridiculous shorts, and I would be super down for it. So let's watch the episodes, and I guess we'll find out. So I've got episode 12 of Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt up and ready to go. It's sitting at zero seconds. There will be two versions of this reaction picture in picture version with the video up there. It will be linked in the description down there. And the timer based version will be up on YouTube. If you want to do a sinky thing and sync up your own copy with the timer based version, you are totally welcome to do that. Just get your copy ready because the beep beep timer to count you down will be coming at you right now. Let's go. That's another reference. A dot in, dot in city. What is the original? Something, something confidential? I don't know. A long lost chaos.
Mm. Mm. There he is. What a nice design. One of the Hell's Monkey bloodline? Wow. Angles and angles. Oh, we are Englishing it up. Do I shut? That's big poopy, right? So we're going to try to tie everything together now? Wow, that's horrible. Wonderful. Smelled. Pathetically unintelligent. Blast. Of course. Nekusto. Hmm? Blast. Mm. Queen bee. Pet bees belong to a geek she oppressed? <laughs> ah, fucking brief. Brast. Needed more restraint. I see, I see. That was so fast. Oh. Oh. What? Wait, what? At least he likes it. No, I, I, we're just watching that over and over, are we? Okay, I mean, I'm all right with that. <laughs> no, I think you found his weakness <laughs> and mine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Brasto. I I suppose. Wait, what? Spur never. Oh, uh, what? God, that was such a weird one. <laughs> Honestly, that is exactly what it was. No comment. This is fun. Wait, what? Queen like students? Wait, what? Thanks, Brief. Packing a big one. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. That was gross. That was just gross. Yeah, we got to get better ghosts. Oh, we're just sort of skipping over that one, huh? We're just sort of skipping over that one, are we? Okay. That sounds like toxic ghostulinity. 
I don't know, man. Yeah, pathetic scatterbrains who are too nice. And how will you do that? Okay, who is this voice actor? Oh, he can leave his chair? I thought he was tied to it. Yeah. No comment. Kraka. Sweet. Oh, they're going to fuck with brief. Oh. <laughs> um Uh, you are sisters. You are sisters. Oh, jeez. I don't like these nouses, noises. I I don't like these sounds. Oh shit. Oh shit, you got caught. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, what is this hell's monkey blood kin? What is what is this shit? Is that a vibrator? <laughs> Okay. Super tight. Super scratch? That's because they're covered in go goat milk. Super rich goat milk. Oh, down they go. Fully a new thing that's been just introduced. Oh, wait, does he have like a birthmark of some kind? That makes him the chosen one. Fuck. Wait, what? What is this? All right, what are we referencing now? It's almost video game music. <laughs> so many hearts. You know what, girl? Get it. Oh, is it just your sex diary? <laughs> is it to fuck all the men you can? A thousand. That is a lot of human beings. What brains? <laughs> no, she's fine. Uh, a new message? Gotta get the list up. 
Thanks, dogs. What the fuck happened to Chuck? Oh, he got blasted by a bunch of a bunch of lightning. Add it and add it and add it and add it. Oh, we have? Oh. Uh Okay, we're out. What will stop us? <sighs> True. Why did Panty get left behind? Hmm. You fucked too much. <laughs> so bitchy. <laughs> Shit. Yep. <laughs> it's good. You're supposed to be an angel because he likes you. Oh. Okay. Bye. Did you just dump him in some slums? Fuck. He doesn't have weapons against those, really. L fully sucking them dry. Good. It's gotta be brief. It's gotta be brief. Come on. No. He's got a dick, though. <laughs> Fucking hell. Clunk. What was that the theme song to? <laughs> what was that the theme song to? I'll be there. Hey, let's go. Oh, it's a party here. Fun CG work. Thanks, Sans, again. What the hell? Yeah, why did you get a- Oh, because- Because he's the monkeykin blood bitch, whatever. Geek boy. Uh-huh. Got him. Fuck! <laughs> what a gag! Just always watching. Jesus. Right behind the door, of course. That's cruel and unusual punishment, man. Fuck! Don't try to fuck the fishes, please. I, I know that's immediately where my brain went, but please don't. Is there gonna be somebody standing across from her in the fucking aquarium? Because that's a scene in a movie. Oh. 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 This is fully a reference to something. I don't know what, though. What? What? Uh... 
Oh, wait, that's... Briefer's Rock. Oh. Wait, is he brief? No, that's not brief. Right? It can't be. Ooh. Wrecked. Wait, is that brief? Oh shit, it is brief. It No, none. Oh, gross. True. Fuck off. Uh oh. Rut row, you blew your you're blowing your cover. You're blowing your cover. Stealing your man's <laughs> shock. How are you gonna one v two? Fucking Sugma? That was sick. That was also sick. Nope. Huh? Does its power come from sex? I think it does. Oh no! Okay, that was sick. Brief, brief. Well, he's got the he's got the thingamajig. It's it's just a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Let's go. She has to fuck to get her powers, doesn't she? <laughs> I would if backlace worked. No recognition. Hey. Super wealthy. Just goes to a normal school. Fall. That's number 1000 right there, man. It's been there the whole time. Chit. They're panty and brief. Of course they were made for each other. Y'all gotta fuck. I, th I think you mechanically must. For reasons. Yeah, let's let's hide together in an abandoned house. Have ourselves a romantic night. You know. There we go. So cool. Oh. 
Oh. We're doing a real romance thing here? I guess. What do you mean, I guess? Squeak, squeak. 1,000. Check it off the list. And I'll bet her panty things will work. Oh. Hey? Ha Is he too big? Oh, she fucking can't. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What? Corset. The boy's awakening? Then? Uh. What? <laughs> Dracula? Do you need his dick? What the fuck? His dick is a key. I am the key master. I am the gatekeeper. I am the key master. I am the gatekeeper. Fucking run. No! This is actually turned into a kind of a story, sort of. <laughs> Gross. <gasps> Bye. Geek boy! Nothing. Nothing. Why is she losing her angelness? I feel like... Garter is going to just beat the shit out of you. No? No, I guess not. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm going to skip the ED. I'm going to skip it. Skip. Skip the ED. Fuck the ED. Okay, first half recap, kind of. We go through all the different... All the different uh, uh, ghosts and stuff with great commentary from the Devil Sisters. It's very fun. And also the repeat, like, tight, tight, scratch, scratch is ridiculous and weird. Um, leading up into, I, I guess they do weird incestuous sex play? Okay, sure, good, good for them. And then the discovery that Brief is, in fact, the hell monkey, whatever, whatever shit. I don't know what this is a reference to. I know it's a reference to something. Is it? Is it like, it's like a zombie apocalypse movie or something similar? It's something like that. I, I don't know. I'll have to look it up in a second. The whole idea of the sex diary and going for a thousand is exactly what Panty would do. Fully buy into that. Um, cool party gets sent off. Stocking just gets evaporated. So I guess will Deus Ex bring Stocking back in the next episode for some kind of cool reason? I'm sure. And then, of course, the thing that has been sitting there all along, Brief and Panty are actually made for each other. Um, and we, we, we get there, we get there. The party is dope. It looks awesome. And we yoink him away, of course. Um, this joke of, of Garter is there every single time that Panty is trying to fuck someone. Somebody is wonderful and silly and great. This whole scene with the aquarium and looking through it is so 
typical. It's I I know that it's a specific reference as well as a like broad reference, but it's something specific. And of course, we see that boy, and it is actually brief himself. He turns out to be a a young mogul's son or whatever. Um, crazy stuff with the demon sisters. Oh, speaking of the demon sisters, just the shot of both of them in like like fully bowing to uh, uh, to corset with the the crazy angle that it produces is a very fun shot. I think it's ridiculous and and good and solid and funny. Um, we start to combat. There are some seriously cool combat sequences like this one. Zoom, zoom, boom, boom, boom. Um, and we'll check Sakaguru in a second. But there are some seriously cool combat se sequences. And so we run away and everything stops working. The But why? Why is it all stopping working? It's not because she's fucking, right? She's been doing that the whole time. I think it's because she's not fucking. It has to do with this weird angel hymen regeneration syndrome thing, which sucks. Um, that's that's awful. Um, and they they nail a really solid romance sequence, not something that Trigger and Trigger and Gynax do super often more recently. I guess I guess sometimes. I guess sometimes. Plus I've never seen Karikano, so Yeah, okay. I guess sometimes. Um I don't I don't understand the the technicalities of what's going on uh here, but um it seems like it seems like Mr. Corset feels like he is definitely winning. And I wonder what the then is. This whole sequence is an obvious reference to the original Dracula film, uh, with the woobity woobity and the girl with the sheet over her going, whoa. Except that then his dick turns into a key and we need him to be the key master for the gatekeeper, who I assume is Panty. Um yeah. R ridiculous and a hard to be continued as her panties fall apart. What the fuck? I'm going to look this up on the wiki because I need to nail down some of those references. Har har, nail down. Um, give me a sec. So 12A and 12B. LA Confidential is the reference, of course. Okay, got it. And then... Ah, it's the 1996 film adaptation of Romeo and Juliet, which I believe is the one with um, what's his face uh, and Juliet 1996. It's with what's his face, right? Yeah, DiCaprio, young DiCaprio, Claire Danes, uh, John Leguizamo, Paul Rudd. Uh, uh, Harold Perrineau as Mercutio. Yeah, no, I I remember that, and that's what the reference is, and absolutely, absolutely. And the song sounds noticeably like Desiree's I'm Kissing You, which is in the original scene. Got it. Um, the plan to have sex with a thousand men before returning to heaven is most likely a reference to Begata HK? Okay. Her, whose goal is to have sex with a hundred guys, and then she turns down everybody. Got it. Um... Ghosts pursuing brief at the beginning look like Totoro. Pandy's entire outfit may be an homage to the outfit Taiga wears in Tor. I was wondering what the deal with that was, the weird outfit that she swaps to during the party. This lists it as Toradora. I thought it was, I don't, I don't know if that's necessarily the case. Um, brief says, I'm not your doll anymore to his father, which is a uh, line from Ayanami Ray in Evangelion. Um, and garter belt scanner reading alert is a reference to a similar typo in episode 10 of Evangelion, which I didn't, I didn't actually know about. Cool. No, that's, that's cool. That's great. Okay. So we figured out the main thing that I wanted to know, which was the film adaptation of Romeo and Juliet being the thing. Let me check Sakakabura really quick. Cause there were a couple of cool cuts and I'd like to see if they're listed. Oh, okay. It's the exact cut that I that I already showed and was like, this is kind of cool. Um, this one is presumed Akira Ak A Amemiya, who we've seen some cuts for from before, but it's mostly fighting stuff and somewhat choreographed, all timed really well uh, and and very fun. And then at the end is where we get the actual like clear, cool cut. Where, yeah, where she comes, comes swinging and zoom in and we go past the camera and do this cool fun fun little like turn as we go uh yeah that's cool that's great awesome i like this episode the fact that it continues into the next episode means we need to watch the next episode as soon as possible so i'm happy just squaring away some of those references giving some base thoughts on what's going on so far and jumping into the next one so that's what we're going to do um i don't even think i'm going to take a breaky thingy i'm just going to go straight into episode 13 so let me pull it up
Okay, that puts us at good to go for episode 13, the finale of Panty and Stocking with Garter Bell. Um, my predictions for this one are we deus ex uh, stocking back for some reason so that we can have them fight together. Um, maybe Brief and Panty will actually get it on. Uh, who knows? Uh, and we will defeat the Demon Sisters, but there will be some kind of twist where either like we end up staying on Earth because we like it better or uh, something something else weird like that. I, I don't know what it will be, but something. Anyway, let's watch the episode, and I guess we'll just have to find out. Uh, I've got it up and ready. It's ready to go. Beep, beep timer. Let's do this. All right, the rain, the sad. Shit, really? Shit. Sh do t triple shit. No intro. Damn. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Thanks. Great. Good. Yep. Yep. Okay. Solid. Oh, yay, a condom. Love it. <laughs> Just seeing so much fucking. Fucking you can never have. What the shit? Out in the rain? <laughs> and down you go. Oh, weird. Oh, weird. It's a weird twisted version of the theme song. Whatever that means. A.D. Sushio. Okay, we're going to get some crazy animation in this episode. Geek boy! And it falls apart. Yeah. Oh. I wonder what that font is a reference to. Oh, the days go by. Who's saying that? Wait, what? What the fuck? What the fuck? This is some weird dream, huh? What? Hi, Granny. What? She she drifted out into the fucking wilderness and became a a happy hick. Are you actually one of the Devil Sisters? I don't trust Granny. Hey, the good old days. Oh, of Granny. Wait. 
Oh shit. Whoa. What the fuck? Where did Mad Max come from? <laughs> it's those damn bandits. Oh, bye, Sam. What the fuck? Guts hanging out, two submachine guns. What the shit? Oh. This is all a dream that we had after falling into the sewer, right? Man, Sam is quite a fighter. Hell yeah. Where does he keep getting more guts? Just get a guy to clean up your mess. No! Clonk. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm down. Oh. Wait, is there a fucking Koopa right there? I just saw a Koopa. The fuck? What? <laughs> what the fuck? They're just constructing an arc for her? What are they doing to his dick? All sorts of things. Oh no. I don't want the tightness. I will pass on the- Ow! No! No! I gotta go save my boyfriend's dick. <laughs> Straight up the stairs, let's go. Really? That's what happened? A virgin bitch. <laughs> An empowering message for women everywhere. I love you, I don't know. Sick, let's go. And whoever, and whoever. This a little bit of a weird shape. Re a virgin, which I don't think counts. <laughs> even even fastener, you're getting in on it. Oh, 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 Shwee! oh, the panties are burning her. That's all it takes. Yeah. Okay. Power. Unlimited power. Ah. <laughs> oh, you won't be able to use it for your weird purposes. Music? No music. There's our deus ex. Deus Ex Stockina. 
<laughs> Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. All right. Another weird version. I don't like it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bye! Did we just get thrown to heaven? Oh, we are in. <laughs> the bed is... The bed is bouncing. <laughs> bwee, bwee, bwee. Amazing. Oh, and she gets her angel powers back. Yeah, no, fucking is where she gets her powers. Thought so. Yeah, and we will until we... De defeat you. Mm. Incoming. Oh, there you go. Incoming. What a great shot. So fun. I wonder how much is CG. I don't know. Wait, but that's the... Okay, that's the half. Cool. Wait, it's Bad Boys, isn't it? It's the Bad Boys fucking uh, credits. That's what the first one was. What the shit? What a clusterfuck. Hmm? Oh, hi. Yeah, let's maybe not murder him. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Thanks, Chuck. Sorry, Chuck. What? That's great. That's a great gag in the background. Oh, bye. Bye, buddy. You might still be. Oh. Oh, no! His dick's in the keyhole! What even is it? Boing, 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 boing. No! Keiko Kudori chan die! What? Bruh. A what? Hell's Gate. Of course, of course, of course. Classic D and D D and D campaign stuff. Ow, ow! What a crazy sequence. That's awesome. Oh, weird rune thing. What the fuck? Sons again. Stop. Sons again, stop. What? Oh, the ultimate ghost. It's, that's some sick CG. It's honestly amazing. How did he just double and fucking... What? Oh, I guess he released his final form. What? Yeah, that's gross. Yeah, just him 1v1-ing... 1v1-ing, uh... Yeah, 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 No, he's got too much restraint. They both love restraints. I mean, maybe. Is that what this whole fight is? Ooh, some shades of kill a kill in these rotating shots. 
All right, here's our Omega Omega Devil. Ow. Gross. Oh. Double gross. Oh, it's acid cum. That's bad. <laughs> no. He's immortal. <laughs> the cut, the cut out of his fucking afro is amazing. Which means no fucking and no sweets. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Classic. Fucking hole through the heart. No! Garter! Eh, he'll be fine. Poor Garter. No, he's going final form. Uh oh. No, he didn't. He was practically immortal. Yeah, yeah, they are appalling. This is true. No, no. About bitchiness. Yeah. Yeah, 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 good, 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 good. I like that background. That's great. <laughs> oh, what is this? Is that a Heaven's credit card? Chuck, stop that. Not in public, Chuck. Put that thing away. What? What? Okay. Oh, it is a Black Heavens Express. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. What? Sushio? It's gotta be Sushio. Both. Ah. Oh, fully kitted out with heaven gear. Nah. <laughs> okay, way too much gear. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that's great. That's fucking dope. That's fucking dope.
A. Henshin. Insane. They've shot it the wrong direction. You fucking idiots. <laughs> fucking idiots. <laughs> uh. uh. That's actual photography. What the fuck? <laughs> I guess that's God. It's just a, a a woman in lingerie. Oh, of course he likes it. Of course it does. Good job, Chuck. I I I do believe. What is the sign of the panty and the and the stocking? I don't know. Mom? Oh. <laughs> okay. Bonkers. Utterly bonkers. Uh, and of course brief will be free. Oh. God, my O. Oh. Sick. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, that's still pretty red. God, there were so many cool cuts in this episode. Good. He did, but he can't. Yeah, we don't we don't have time. It destroyed a bunch of shit. Yeah. Of course. Uh, what did you fucking buy? Nope. Ah, a bunch of sweets. And clothes. Now, bye! Nice. Nope, there's that. Oh, brief. Nice. Good zipper. Okay. There is a thing after the ED here, so I guess we'll play it out. This was a, a pretty visually awesome finale. I gotta give it to it. It, it they, they managed to make a blast. Um, it's just ridiculous. I like it a lot. I'm, I'm looking forward to looking this one up on Sakuga Brew. Because there are definitely some cuts that scream Sushio to me. Um, and some definite Imaishi stuff with some of the ghosts. And even, even maybe some of the way that Chuck moves. When he like transforms into stuff. But I don't know. Okay, what's the ending sequence thing? Because there's a couple, yep. <laughs> Just back to normal. Uh-huh. May have just murdered your sister. Yeah. What? Okay, we're just having fun here, huh? Not actually stalking. 
What? <laughs> Even the devil sisters are just like, what the fuck? But it won't, but it won't. Oh, what a weird... I, I feel like it's actually just a joke about uh, setups for season twos that come out of nowhere and are just like, ah, we have to make a new story, and so the villain is back, and... And actually, one of our characters turned into a villain, too. And I, I feel like that's the whole joke here. And I'm not going to take it seriously because I know there isn't a second season. So the ending is right here when they save the city and everything is good. Is good and I don't care about what happens afterward. Okay. This is a hell of an episode. I think this is a great episode. And I think it's a great way to finish off. The whole insane trying to, like, like reset Panty and make her better. This is definitely Bad Boys. It's got to be the logo for it. And by giving her, like, a whole life that's all constructed in order to make her, like, just have an arc is insanity. It's absolute insanity. Also, the music is great. Um, the whole conversation with the grandma and the finding of the thing and the whole everybody getting shot up. You have to go save them. Okay, let's go. Ridiculous and wonderful. I got it. I got it. Got to got to say that it's very, very impressive and very fun. Okay, so we have a ritual ceremony to open up hell, occurring at the top of a giant tower, and Panty is the only one who can stop it by deciding to fuck her man's, uh, and she does, and it doesn't work. But we then we Deus Ex, of course, sweet the 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 stocking, and shit gets insane. Um, especially the animation gets absolutely bonkers. The on-screen text, the way the background changes, the way the background looks, um, the whole feel and vibe of the whole thing, the different colors, the big CGified rotating shot that I think is all CG, but I can't tell. Because Sans Again CG is so good that it could be or it could not be. It could be 2D. It could be CG. I don't fucking know. I think it's CG. But I have no idea. It could be either. But I think it's CG. Okay. It's still fucking amazing. And into Bitch Girls 2 Bitch, which is like two uh, bad boys 2 or whatever, something like that. It's got to be that, right? I don't know. I, let me look it up. Uh, 12A and 12B, I'm sorry, 13A and 13B, um, Bad Boys, yeah, title is a reference to, to Bad Boys, Panty recovers from a powerless state similar to how Heidi does in Girl of the Alps, that makes sense, and of course its plan is, uh, a reference to, oh, it's a reference to Ghostbusters, uh, okay, I assumed that it was, but I wasn't sure, um, but no, it, it is a reference to Ghostbusters, cool, got it. And then uh, Bitch Girls 2 references um, Bad Boys 2, of course. The emergence of the ultimate ghost resembles the opening of the gate in Full Metal Alchemist, brother. I don't buy that. Um, start flying around in a way similar to the Powerpuff Girls. Yes. Exactly as planned. Maybe a reference to Death Note. The Keikaku Dori. I, it might be. Um, pulls a machine gun out of his afro and starts firing, firing wildly like Nabishin in Excel Saga. I don't know. Panty and Stocking's mom could be a throwback to End of Ava. Of course it is. Yeah, no, 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 100%. The whole, I'm not actually going to spoil it, but that whole sequence, yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. Um, Brief's reaction uh, resembles, uh, at the end, uh, old school cartoon characters with the eyes, eyes, eyes. Uh, Stockings line, I'm actually a demon, later became a meme. That's not a fucking reference. It's, that's, that's a meme. Okay, cool. Got it. Um, and shit goes wild here. I actually really like this gag of them, like, flying around this way in the background fighting. I think it's very funny, um, because that's exactly how, like, light blast battles end up going. It's not even light blast battles. That's, that's like a power battle. But, uh, uh, like, two characters who can fly fighting in the background always end up looking like that, and they just make it a little bit funnier. And, of course, the plan actually goes down. Um, 
the crazy like transformation of the building is super sick looking. I think it's really fucking awesome, honestly. This whole sequence here with the crazy cubes exploding and some of it's CG and some of it isn't, I think. I, it might all be CG, but this is so stylistically awesome and so like simple, but it reads perfectly, um, which is a problem that I have with some of the sequences of Pandian's talking, but here absolutely what reads perfectly. Um, this is all Sans Again CG 100%. And this idea of the whole city folding into itself as hell opens a gate here is pretty fucking awesome. Uh, I get what they mean with the FMAB with all the tentacles coming up and shit. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I got it. All right. And of course, he Hulk modes out and they fight, which is actually rad as hell. Um, and some crazy cool sequences all the way through. But it is it is really once we get Chuck going, we kill Garter. Um... And, yeah, <laughs> what the fuck are we going to do with this? Boom. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so, yeah, here, I think, is where we, we do something to Chuck, and we actually make him unzip himself into a crazy transformation that I assume is Sushio, but I don't know. It could be, um, it could be a Maishi because of the style of it, and turns into a giant hyper dog, uh, uh, which is ultra rad. And then the running sequence that we do where he fights fastener and they both sort of explode into pieces like explode through fastener get chopped up into pieces and then like become itself again i don't even i it's it's utterly bonkers and i'm not finding it now where, where did it go uh, i guess it's a little bit later so they get the the hyper gun of doom which is a really cool idea that they just turn all and it's it's really well executed too it looks insane just these rows and rows and rows of panties and stockings forming this Omega Ultra Super Spinny Jet Cannon Gun thing. Ridiculous. And of course it's backward, so whoops. But it does bring God Mommy, who just appears, which is bonkers. Okay, I'm, I'm missing. Where's the sequence of, of Chuck with Fastener? That whole fight, like... There's this whole sequence where, where like, Chuck gets evaporated into little circles of Chuck or something. I gotta play from when Chuck transforms, I guess. So, uh, Garter Belt dies. This whole thing happens. Chuck is here. Chuck transforms. And it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, so Fastener transforms into this dragon thing. Okay, they both tangle up, roll, 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 slice, 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 and then falls apart into a bunch of chunks of Chuck, which then get exploded and squished, but then they all are rolling, and they form back together into Chuck. That whole sequence is the one that I'm talking about. Okay, let's watch through it again. Just getting wrapping my mind around what happens here. So Fastener turns into that, they face off into grapple, roll, slice, chop, 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 chop. Bits, 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 squish, 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 roll, 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 into a person, blast, boom, explode, run through. What the fuck? What in the actual shit and fuck? Insanity. Insanity. Okay, um, I'm going to pull up Sakuga Brew and look through it. Oh my god, there's a bunch. I'm glad. I'm, I'm very glad, actually. Let me just, I'll just pull these up immediately. And boom, 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 boom. Sweet. Okay, Artist Unknown, Lightning Effects and Schmears. This is the big lightning into Stockings Return. Some slices and not the not the craziest cut in the episode by far, but some great effects work. Awesome. Sushio with the spin. It's Sushio. It's not it's not listed as um as like Sans again or CG. This is according to the experts, which is just Sakagaburu, that this is 2D. And I buy it. I, I could believe it either way. Awesome. Um, this one's presumed as the devil girls come in and shoot some stuff at them and slice, and that's before before that happens. Oh yeah, can can someone upload the rotation scene that comes afterwards? Sick, um, that's great. Yo Yoshinari. Oh, of course it's Yoshinari. No, no, no. This is the sequence, and I was thinking it was Sushio, but no, 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 no. Of course it's Yoshinari. That makes that makes makes way more sense. Um, and we've looked at this scene a couple of times. It's utter bonkersness. I, I, I'm really impressed by the insanity of this cut. But I think this is one of those situations where it's actually the cut is actually too crazy. 
um, it's it's actually too crazy to to for my brain to be wrapped around it completely because it just happens and I'm sitting here like what the fuck is even that what what is this what is happening holy shit okay all right I mean yeah 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 sure sure cool <laughs> insane insane okay so this is the Chuck morph and it is great I would actually guess that this cut is Imaishi. Um, because of the style of it, and, and because, because I see so many Imaishi things turning into bigger, scarier things that are Hiroyuki. Um, there are some in Little Witch Academia that have that feel to them, and I, I would guess that this cut in particular is Hiroyuki himself. Um, we get one more Amamiya cut with a big, that's not even, not even, uh, uh, whatchamacallit punch, that's just insanity. And then the super tight, and all the all of this oh and this where we're whipping stuff around is very reminiscent of fights against gamaguri in kill a kill um i think you'll if you've seen kill a kill you'll get what i mean by that but like it's very reminiscent of some of the fights with gamaguri and i wonder if those were amamiya as well i would i would buy that they are they could be and i'm not sure but some of the background and groundwork might be sans again cg but I'm, I'm not sure it could be 2d animated as well um and then this insane shit which looks like Powerpuff Girls, kind of, with the spinning rotating tower and all the lights and stuff, and them jumping around and being utterly bonkers is apparently Megumi Kono, who we've seen a few cuts from in the last couple episodes as well. There are some cool, some cool moments in this sequence, but it doesn't, it doesn't stand out to me as much as like the Chuck sequence. Actually, that's not true. It's got some great characterization, and the fact that these characters are actually moving past the camera and then starting to talk and like interact as well, um, and it's kind of believable is not the word to use here but it tracks it it fits with the rest of the sequence is really cool and it works really well awesome um okay so this brings us to the end of panty and stocking with garter belt let me let me turn this off and then we'll look at here and the first thing that I'll say is that I think the last couple episodes, in fact, I'll say that the last like four episodes have been really stellar with the penultimate two. So 10 and 11 being an insane almost celebration of how crazy they're able to be with this show with all of the shorts and the concert and just sort of sort of like. Uh, 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 a self-congratulatory insanity in the last couple episodes that that really sinks in all of the the feelings of the craziness that has been this whole core of a show. Um, and I think is a, a good way to leave off before leading into the actual like story based finale, which gives a little bit more character to some of these characters, especially Panty, who spends a lot of time alone without stocking to bounce off of um, and around and, and centers itself around Panty's like flaw, which is her bitchiness and her sexuality, which she then by the end of this whole thing just embraces and says is hers, right? Like I am still that bitch and bitches do whatever the fuck they want and so I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want which in this case is fuck my mans and fuck you up um and it works it works real well and they they even get help from their god mommy uh which is weird as hell but I think as a send-off to the show this last episode is is really solid it, it hits all of the story beats it makes something that was in the background from the beginning which is the whole panty and brief thing kind of come together and maybe come together um, and uh, I honestly is a a good leaves a good taste in my brain if that makes sense because it's, it's not a taste in my mouth it leaves a good taste in my brain which i think is important in a show that has had some distinctly distasteful episodes um and and is in a lot of ways and a show about bad taste like it's intentionally absurd intentionally way over the top intentionally gross intentionally disgusting intentionally um um different and subverting expectations constantly until you start expecting insanity and and craziness and then once you start expecting insanity and craziness and not to take things seriously it hits us with like that one half an episode with the very serious tone and the complete art style shift and says no we we can be serious sometimes you'd better watch out because you don't know what to expect from this show and that sort of playing with audience expectations and honestly seemingly having a lot of fun creating this insane ridiculous stupid in many ways very dumb 
very dumb, and that's a compliment in this circumstance, romp of a show where you can very literally and should very seriously try to turn your brain off and just let it happen to you, which I know sounds a little creepy when I say it like that, but seriously, that's kind of the nature of the show. Um, It's not a thing that you can super analyze because I don't know that the effort was put into it to make it serious from the other side. It's like a, a a collaborative absurdist riff on all of the things that the production staff actually likes and finds interesting or wants to parody and lampoon all sort of mishmash together into this sex crazed sweets addled absurd romp of uh fighting ghosts and fucking boys like they're out there pandy and stocking are doing their shit and they don't give a damn what you think about it um and that's kind of the attitude that i feel coming from the staff as well we're doing this ridiculous show and we don't really care what you think about it it's gonna be fun for us to make this and if it if it like gets audience participation or gets views and gets people into it then that's great if not fuck it we had a good time making this fun show and and that's really the vibe that i get here is uh, a lot of work that is actually play and um it's not precisely the type of um the the type of enthusiasm and and love for the medium that makes me fall in love with a show which I get from things like Simpho Gear sometimes or or certain other shows where it's clear to me that the staff are having a blast and that that having a blast and that feeling of fun translates to me and and I I resonate with it um it's not quite that but it's in the same ballpark of watching a bunch of creative people fuck around and have a really good time and seeing the result of that and it comes across to me as as a really fun weird absurd show rating wise I have no idea I think it's a seven or an eight um it's not ultra like the best it's the art style is absurd and weird, and I like it sometimes, but sometimes it's kind of bland. Some of the episodic sections are just gross and not very funny, um, and some of the humor is not super great. It's it's certainly not highbrow by any any stretch of the imagination, but it does demonstrate the capability for cleverness in some of its jokes in some places, and I feel like the places where it's actually clever um, kind of make the places where it's just ha ha poop and farts and boogers and stuff less interesting because it's not it you know it demonstrates that it can be better um so I don't know. but it's a creative absurdity there are a bunch of really cool cuts um it's got its own utterly unique style like you look at any frame from this show and you can tell that it's from Pandy and Stocking pretty much. Uh, except for, I guess, e- even even that one section where it's off model, I, I guess you could say maybe you wouldn't be able to tell on that one. But for the most part, it's very much its own thing and has a very strong idea identity as a show and as a show it's kind of about identity and how we identify ourselves and how panty and stocking lean in to their vices and their silliness and their 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 badness their non-angelic selves um and i feel like if you wanted to to write like a a hardcore feminist article about this you could and and write it as simple premise women are expected to be angels but they're just people here's the lean in and you could write an article or or like an essay on this show from that perspective if you wanted to do i think that this is a a feminist show that's about empowering women no 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 it's an absurd show that's about fucking shit up and being ridiculous but it works on on a couple of different levels if you really want it to. And you can make all kinds of arguments and all kinds of thoughts about it if you really want to. My takeaway from this show is honestly not that much. Um, I don't think that there's a lot of super duper useful information in this show or like useful ways to interact with other people or useful experiences because it's so far removed from any kind of reality. But it is really fucking fun and so kind of like sex or kind of like gorging on sweets it doesn't have that much particular value it's not like a long lasting 
improve your general life in in lots of ways sort of thing. But it is very fun in the short term, and I think a lot of people can enjoy it. So I think that's my take on Penny and Stocking with Garter Belt. It's like sex or sweets, but also not. There we go. I've been Tia Boo. This has been Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt, the finale. I hope you've enjoyed this one as much as, as I have. If you've got thoughts or comments or criticisms about this show or the way that I've reacted to it, you can drop them in the comments section. Um, if you like this video and you like the, the whole series, you can drop likes and comments and subscribes and stuff, and those are really good. Um, and at some point in the near, not too distant future, I will be running a poll to determine what we end up watching next on Fridays. Um, and I'll probably stick to things that I think are silly. Um, or or things that are kind of uh, uh, more on the fun side because that's kind of what I want to watch on Fridays. Friday's kind of a fun day for me and, and so I get to watch a fun show and go to the gym and then come back and usually there's like a bit of a hangout in the backyard and that's all good. So we'll, um, we'll pull for a new show soon. Uh, regardless, thank you all for watching. Thank you for those of you who voted for this show. It was an interesting, interesting ride for sure. And um, I'll see you next time for something different. Peace.